since and they got obviously announced recently that the original New Orleans was going to be the uh, third season of the Homecoming. I saw a lot of comments, and you know, I obviously went back and rewatched your season a few times since Paramount's mm-hmm. become a thing. Everybody was like wondering if it was your season that was going to be the one uh, making this Homecoming return, and I yeah. think that like that's something I'm I'd be interested in. Do you feel like that's like a thing that you would like to do? Um, you know what? I it it. it it's something that I think I would do, but I also, and I don't know mentally how easy it would be for me because you have to go back and watch clips, you know, it's part of it, um, to be reunited with all of them with night, not being there. I still live in New Orleans, so I'm very connected to the city. I think it would just be, um, it would be very, very like trying for me. I think it would test me as a human. Um, but I also think that it's crazy that it sounds, even though we are one of the newer seasons, we have a lot of stories that are still untold. The Preston situation, and I know that y'all have talked about that yeah. on your podcast before, so the fans here know what we're talking about. You know, night passing, the fact that, you know, Ryan Leslie exists, and I know he's been on your pod too. So I think it, if done right, we could really tell some stories that needed to still be told. But I think it would be very, very challenging for me having to relive all of those moments in the city that I still live in, in my home, you know? Yeah. One thing that I found so interesting, it's because you guys, typically we see some seasons of real world, like they'll remain like super tight. And then other seasons, they kind of break off and have like little to no relationship. You and Ashley seem to be rather close. But aside oh, yeah, that's from my the- bitch for life. Yeah. <laughs> but aside from that, everyone's kind of just like, you know, doing I their own. I like Mackenzie. I never liked Mackenzie. And I was forced really? to like Mackenzie because I did. And on my real world season, I was literally like, if I didn't like Mackenzie, I would have been the jealous, crazy girl. And Mackenzie's like, you know, the sweet girl. Um, and yeah, and like Mackenzie now is fucking annoying as fuck on social media. Like very like pro-Trump, anti-vaccination. And I'm just like, shut the fuck up. I actually love her family, though. So, but only my only connection with Mackenzie was with Knight. So, like, honestly, being back in a house with Mackenzie, I'm like, there's so much fucking shit that was un- that I let go. Um, I don't talk to Preston. I haven't spoken to Ryan Leslie since the day of our reunion. Me and Sahar and me and Eric speak here and there. But honestly, it was always just like I was still with Knight and with Ashley. And then Knight, you know, died. So it was just like now it's just me and Ashley. Yeah, which, I mean, it's unfortunate, but I feel like you guys had, like, so many things that took place on that show to where it's, like, almost makes sense. Like, I know Eric was, like, still to this day, he's, like, so mad, um, uh, kind of about how that reunion unfolded, because everyone, like, called him a creep and stuff, I think it was. Oh, yeah, and I think, like, and that's the thing, like, I think that there's still just so much animosity. Yeah. Going on in our little fucking weird circle, and, like, even, like, night passing we couldn't get over it. Like, yeah, like, we all came, a few of us came together for that. But, like, and this is also why I don't fucking like Mackenzie. She didn't come to Knight's funeral because it was going to be too hard for her. It's like, Mackenzie, this isn't fucking about you. But that's just, like, the type of girl she is. So I just think if we all came back together, especially add Ryan Leslie in there, because you've interviewed him. You know that he know, he's smart. And he knows what he's doing. And I think, it, I think it could be a very interesting story and season. But I think it would be very um, hard for me to actually do it. And that comes back to my point. Like, despite, like, all, like, the, you know, people going their separate ways and all the animosity and the issues, it, like, it, like, hit so deep, like, to hear, like, all the positive words that your cast, like, because I've had on, like, quite a few of you, the roommates, yeah. like, all the boys, like, just seeing them tell, like, all their night stories and, like, coming back mm-hmm. to it, it's just like, oh, my God, it hit me deep, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, and, like, I, I, and I do also think it would be interesting exploring a season when the main cast member is no longer alive, like, at the end of the day, Knight was the main cast member on our season. Yeah. So, and he was kind of sometimes, him and I were the glue that held the whole group together, so once we broke up and then he passed, there was no glue left. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I do think exploring a season like with the trauma of ours would be interesting.